This is Chris Sartorial. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to draft a woman's double dart skirt sloper. This sloper has a total of eight darts encircling the waist and is most suitable for a more curvaceous figure where the waist is more than 10 inches smaller than the hip. For this draft, we'll use the same measurements we used for the single dart sloper. The double dart sloper draft is very similar to the single dart, with the exception that you're working in pairs of darts in the back and front rather than just a single dart. And just like before, I've drawn a rectangle, the width of which is equal to the half hip measurement and the length to whatever length you would prefer your skirt sloper to be. In this case, it's 18 inches. The first step, like before, is we need to measure down from the top the distance from the waist to the fullest point of the hip. In this case, 8 inches. So I'm just going to mark down 8 inches from the top. square line. And like before, I'll need to bisect this vertically into halves. You can do both halves equal, or as before, you can shift that line one-eighth of an inch to the back. My exact half of 19 and 3 quarters would be 9 and 7 eighths, and then I'm going to shift it 1 eighth of an inch to the back. Now, just like before, we'll need to do some math. We need to take our half hip measurement, which in this case is 19 and 3 quarter, and subtract our half waist measurement, which in this case is 14 and a quarter, which leaves me with 5 and a half inches. That's how much we need to take out of the waist to reach our uh, finished waist measurement. Now I'm going to put two darts in the back and I'm going to make them each 7 eighths inches deep. They can be as much as an inch or, or less than that, but uh, I'm going to start with the uh, 7 eighths inches. So two darts at 7 eighths inches is going to give me a total of one and three quarter inches. Subtracting that, that leaves me with three and three quarter. And I'm going to have two darts in the front uh, being slightly less depth in depth than the back, so they will be three quarters of an inch deep each. So two at three quarters of an inch will be one and one half inches. Subtract to that, and I get two and one quarter inches left, and that is the amount that we need to take out at the side seam. So I will now take that two and a quarter and divide it in half and make a mark either side of this line. So one and an eighth either side of the line. Now let's draft our darts. For the back dart, just as we did before, we're going to take the measurement that we have left here and divide it in two. And I'm going to make a point mark. And then we need to decide 
how far apart our pairs of darts are going to be. A good medium uh, distance between them would be an inch and a half, but they, the distance can be smaller than that or larger. I suggest for a very small size you would go smaller, and for a larger size you would make that distance larger. You can go as, as much as two inches apart or as little as just an inch. But I'm going to do one and a half inches apart, so I'm going to mark three quarters of an inch either side of this point. And my darts are going to be seven eighths of an inch deep, so I'll make a mark again seven eighths. away from each one of these points going outward. And then I need to square a line down from the center of that 7 eighths distance, which is going to be 5 sixteenths. Now, when we did a single dart, we made it five and a half inches down from the waist in length. Because these darts are narrower, it can be a little shorter. So I'm going to make this one closest to center back five inches. And the one a little closer to the side seam, I'm going to make four and a half. You can make them both the same length but I think it's more visually pleasing if the one, the dart closer to the side seam is a little shorter. I will join these points. For our two back darts. Let's repeat the process with the front. Find the midpoint. Mark a point. And then, because our darts are going to be one and a half inches apart, mark a point three quarter either side of that point, of that central point. And my front darts are going to be three quarters of an inch deep. So now make a point three quarters outside of each of those points. Again, from the midpoint between these two three quarters of an inch points, which in this case would be three eighths, square line down. And again, the front darts are going to be shorter than the back. So this one was five, this one four and a half. I'm going to make the dart here closest to center front, four. And then the one toward the side seam, three and a half, a half inch shorter. As I said, you can make them both the same, but I prefer the darts closer to the side seam to be a little shorter connect these points. There are our front darts. Like before, we need to raise this, these points at the side about three-eighths of an inch, or about a centimeter. So I'm going to move, mark, point three-eighths above the line. And now I can take my hip curve and blend a curved line from this point at the side seam to my side hip.
you'll notice that this hip line here is considerably less curved than it was for our single dart sloper, and that's good. It means we have spread the fullness more evenly around the waist, so that it's not so not there's not too much of it just at our side seam. Now, in order to blend smoothly from nothing to three eighths up, as before, I'm going to make a mark an eighth of an inch above the line at the top of my darts in the front and the back. Now I can take my French curve and true up the waist. And I can just rub it between the two. Now our skirt is basically finished. Again, I want to split it down the side, add seam allowance and a hem allowance. Then I'll cut it out and sew it up. Here is the skirt, sewn in a rather crisp cotton muslin. As I said before, the two dart sloper is particularly useful for a more curvy figure where you have to taper from hip to waist more than 10 inches. By diverting more of the fullness into darts, it allows you to make the side hip curve straighter so that it fits more smoothly over the hip at the sides. Let me know how this works for you if you give it a try, and uh, I look forward to doing another upcoming video for you. Thank you very much.